2016 NCHA World Finals, and I'm here with the winner of the $35,000 non-pro, Linda Davies, and she wrote Cedars Ahoy, mate. Congratulations to you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell us about your go-rounds here. Oh, um, the first day I had a 219 and a half for second, and uh, it went well. I was nervous, because I'm always nervous, uh, but Mike and... Uh, the helpers, which was Les Bates, Monty Bunton, and Todd Adolph were great. They all kind of, they know I'm a nervous person, so they all try and reassure me, you know, and talk me, you know, just relax, just relax, it's not going to be, and the cattle they told me to pick, it just sort of flowed out and went well, because I was draw 13, and I thought I should worry about that. My husband said, no, no, don't worry about that, you know, okay. and, and, I mean, I, you don't. What's the point of worrying? Because you're not going to change the draw, you know. And it worked out fine. So, You've obviously learned to deal with those nerves because you were here last year and you said you um, were second, you ended up third, and now you've taken out uh, a world title. Uh, what, what is your secret to being able to handle those nerves if you're prone to them? Um, I'm not sure. Probably uh, a lot of prayer. <laughs> no, really. I just, like, I just have to, before I start I have to you know kind of get myself in that zone and think this is where I need to be and and it works you know yeah and they all joke and, and I have good drugs but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'll have an anxiety drug if I get really you know twitchy but yeah yeah but that isn't always necessary you know okay. yeah no. so Cedar's a hoy mate I take it this horse hasn't been to see what's the go with its name you know he's a smart mate um, and he was um, the breeder was from California Mark Nelson is his name and I didn't buy him from him I bought him in Alberta it, well the story has become legendary kind of up from a horse trader online oh, right. I found him online and he was at the end of his seven-year-old year and he'd won a lot of money and uh, he was there, and I said to my husband, we need to go look at him, and we did, and I just loved him. I couldn't stop smiling, so we went home and thought about it and said, we got to buy him, and he was a real bargain. I mean, it was, yeah, he was, he was a wonderful horse to get, and he's, he's really the secret to why I'm having the success I am. He's, he is amazing, yeah. Good, good find. Uh, so how long have you been with Mike Wood, your trainer? Um, this would be the third year. Yeah, I think now, almost three years. Mm -hmm. He's had an astonishing uh, amount of success with his non-pros and amateurs here at the World Finals. What's, what does he really, um, when he coaches you, what does he really try and get through to, to help you with your showing? I think he figures every person out, and so he knows what to work on with each person individually. So we're not all just, uh, you know, on... Like, he knows what my horse is like. He doesn't need a lot of work, and he doesn't overtrain him. He just, you know, keeps him maintained. And for me, it, he'd work me on the flag a lot because I needed to relax, you know, and that's what he's worked on, and it's helped a huge amount, yeah. How much have you been home to Canada this past year? Um, this wasn't a big hauling year. I was home all summer in Canada showing, yeah, because I show there in the summer from April till September. The Stampede? No, I didn't go there. This, I haven't done that. Everyone keeps telling me to, but yeah, it's a separate thing. You know, it's not, so I haven't gone there. Yeah, but. Well, what are your plans for next year? Um, I think I'll be showing in Arizona in the spring, like January again. And Chief will stay here until, uh, well, obviously till Alberta starts maybe. Or I've sort of interested in the, uh, they do a loop through Colorado and New Mexico in the summer here. And it looks like fun. And see some new country, you know. So, uh, been the best. To travel, you know, and see all these people and meet, you know. Seeing that in the past year you've done a lot of showing in both countries, how do they differ or how are they similar? There's not a lot of difference, really, yeah. And I think um, the shows there are usually just two-day where some of these here are, some of them are four day, which is nicer rather than just a short two day. Because for me, where I live, it, almost every show I went to was a six hour drive. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. It's been fun. I can't believe how much fun it's been, you know. <laughs>